Hi everyone, so recently I have been going on Etsy quite a lot and Pinterest way too much um, and I quite often type in like DIY gifts and things like that. Anyway, when I was doing that I saw this thing called the Sister Survival Kit and they do it for friends, mothers, dogs, everybody you could think of but it was the sister one that I was interested in and they were like six, seven, eight, nine pounds and I thought do you know what? I think I could make that myself so that is what I have done and I'm going to tell you about it in case you don't know and I'm going to show you what I have done. Basically it's not an actual survival kit it's kind of like a little cute keepsake thing to give to your sister which what I've got in here is worth pretty much nothing. I only had to go out and buy one thing and that cost me 35 pence so I had everything else in the house so it's kind of like tell you what I'll show you as we get into it. So I just got one of these little pots from Poundland. You get three in a packet for obviously a pound. And I had one in the house. And then on the top I just used um, some glitter glue pen things. And I just kind of wrote the word sister. And did this little decorating thing. So that kind of looks nice as the lid. And then inside it, it is packed with a load of stuff and goodies. So this is what I'm going to show you now. So some of them are pretty cheesy but I kind of just copied what they said off the ones that you could buy and made them myself. So what I did was I went on the computer obviously and I typed up all the little cards and a, a little message and then I've got, I just laminated them but a little tip as well here for you, I don't have a laminator but if you go to, they sell them in quite a lot of places laminating pouches but the best place I've found them, um, the cheapest is Home Bargains, the 99p4 it's either 10 or 20 sheets so if you put all your A4 paper in it and then put the paper inside the laminating pouch and then put the laminating pouch inside the pillowcase and then iron it it laminates it like perfect anyway so the first thing is I'm giving her one of these little thick tea light candles and a candle because she has always lighted up my life as I said they're really cheesy and they're really corny but I liked the idea of it and I just copied it off um, the ones if you just google image search sister survival kit you'll see the list of all things like this so the next thing is a safety pin for always being my safety net and someone I can rely on next is the toothpick to pick out the best of our memories next we have a plaster to remind us to always stick together I like the idea of it if any like you know any either of us are ever aware or you're ever upset or you just need something to cheer you up like hopefully reading these things will just remind you that you know somebody is there who cares for you and all that cheesy sort of stuff and as I said it can be for your boyfriend your mum your dad your sister your brother you anybody at all a penny really shiny one as well a penny so you always have good luck a rock because you are always my rock a cotton ball to help soften F any rough road you may take in life Ooh, can't get the next one it's rolling about a marble for all the time for all the times we've let the good times roll quite liked that one I thought it was funny oh dropping it a rubber band for always being flexible A paper clip to ensure we always stay close. Now I got a tea bag here, I wrapped it up in some cling film so the tea leaves didn't go everywhere and stink the box out. But a tea bag to have a drink while we have a good gossip. And then I have got an eye for always looking out for me and to know that I will always look out for you. I have got a sticker which is a smiley face for all the happy times we have shared and we will share together. I have got a little star to, f to make sure that you follow all your dreams. I have got a jigsaw piece because you are an important piece of my life. I have got a crayon because you brighten up my life. An eraser to erase mistakes we have and will make. I got some love heart sweeties because I love you so much I feel like I'm saying this to you guys but well do you know what a lot of the time I am because I love yous we have got sandpaper for all the things you have ever smoothed over for me 
And last but not least, we have got a tissue for all the tears of happiness and sadness we've shared. And I just kind of, I've put all the, um, the, le the writing bits at the bottom. And then I've just stocked it, ooh, stocked it up the other bits. And this box just fits everything in perfectly. It's a bit like Tetris, to be honest, if you try to get it all in. But I hope you like the idea of this. I know it's corny and I know it's cheesy, but I've made it myself now rather than buying it. And to be honest with you, it's the same difference because the buying things, the ones that you can buy on Etsy or on eBay or anywhere like that, are just the same, to be honest with you, except they're in more of a fancier bag and they've kind of got like a scroll with all the writing. But I kind of like the fact that they're all separate so let me know what you think of this idea do you like it or is it a bit too corny and cheesy for you let me know what what your thoughts are on it and leave me a comment below thumbs it up if you like this video thumbs up if you are going to try it yourself and you can think of anybody that you can give it to and also let me know if you can think of any other things that i could pop in it like um I can't even think of any more. I've racked my brains and done Google searches and these are the only items that I can think of that I could put in it. Um, look, I've had to rip off some of the Love Heart sweets because they won't fit in the box. But you could get this in a glass jar. You could make it like super, super fancy. And then I'm going to squidge the lid on. Somehow. And ooh. Will it go? No, it won't go. Give me a minute. Run it now. All the corners are on and it's locked up. So there it is. I hope you liked it. I probably said that a hundred times, but I'm saying it again. Um, and happy making if you make it. I'd love to know if you do. Or you've already bought one or you've already made one before. Did the gift go down well and all that sort of thing. Let me know down there. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.